Okay, welcome to this uh, second lesson in the series. Uh, this is going to be from an exam question in a GCSE maths paper. And uh, this is on a non calculate paper. And it's basically 3D Pythagoras. Okay, so the question says work out the length of PQ. And that's PQ there. Okay, uh, this is a three mark question. So let's write that down over here three marks so we know we need to show our working out in this question okay we have this length here um, but we don't have this length here uh, nor do we have this length we only have this side which we know at the moment is 12 centimeters okay we know this length here is 12 centimeters okay so um, we also know this length here is four centimeters and so we have another triangle here where we can use Pythagoras this one here as you can see just shade it in for you okay we've got a triangle there and so if we draw this out nicely here that's three and that's four and that's gonna be X okay this this is simple Pythagoras now we know a squared plus B squared equals H squared. So um, A squared here is going to be 3 squared plus 4 squared equals H squared. That's going to be 9 plus 16 equals, well, we know 9 plus 16 equals 25. And that's going to be squared. So we square root this and we get back all the square roots of course 3 plus 4 plus equal sorry my bad equals 5 and we've got this length now we've got this length and so that makes this length 5 so so far in this uh, the question we're being asked PQ which is this line here we know that if we take out that triangle out of the cuboid we've got this and we knew before that this was 12 centimeters and we've now re uh, find out that this length over here the base is now 5 centimeters which means back to normal uh, Pythagoras again so we can simply do 5 squared plus 12 squared equals x squared in this case and we know that's 25 plus 144 which if you're good at math you can quickly do 169 and square roots of all of them equals 5 plus 12 equals the square root of that is 13 which means that the length PQ equals 13 centimeters and so this was a, a three mark question and we're gonna get a mark here a mark for this and a mark for the answer that's uh, a simple question on the maths non-calc paper and uh, three marks is a lot of marks and you shouldn't be making mistakes on these sort of questions. Um, thank you for watching this lesson. Bye-bye.